In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a custom LED matrix light box. This project is great for many different things. It could be used for adding some visual flair to your room or workspace, or for displaying useful text information such as date and time, or it could even make for a very unique gift. So let's get into it. The key to this project is the LED matrix panel. This panel is an 8x32 pixel grid of WS2812B LEDs. The LEDs are individually addressable and functional with many types of programmable controllers. The microcontroller that I like to use for these types of projects is the Wemos ESP8266 Mini because it provides Wi-Fi enabled control on a very small board footprint. For the firmware, I'm using WLED. WLED is free and provides the simplest and fastest way to get an LED project like this made. And I highly recommend checking out the project if you haven't already. The recent release of 0.14.0 for WLED now includes 2D matrix support, which is perfect for this project. Now the first thing I started with was preparing the 3D printed diffusion grid. This grid is important because it provides a gap between the LEDs and the diffuser which prevents hot spots on the diffusion sheet. It also splits up the LEDs so that when a single one is enabled, the light will not overspread and blur the animation among the other LEDs. Credit goes to Peaberry for creating this diffuser grid, and the link to the 3D model is in the description. Next, you'll need some wood or other framing material to mount the panel onto and support the diffusion grid. I decided to repurpose several pieces of leftover wood for this build. Using the LED matrix panel as a reference, measurements can be made and the back of the wood frame can then be cut to size and sanded. The back panel will also need a few holes drilled so that the wires will have a place to feed through once the matrix is attached. After that, the sides of the frame can be measured and cut to size. The leftover wood used here wasn't long enough to reach on the bottom of the frame, but fortunately the fix was easy enough with some wood glue to combine the two smaller pieces. I added a channel on the two sides of the frame. This is necessary for the next step in the build, which is adding the diffusion sheet. There were several options for diffusion which I had experimented with to try and find the best looking result. The paper options showed reasonable results, but the one which seemed to appear best was using white spray paint on the acrylic sheet. With all the parts gathered together, it's time to seal everything with wood glue. A few large clamps across the frame will hold everything in place until it dries. Once that is done, it's nearly complete. On the back of the build, we have the three cables coming out from the LED matrix panel. The first connection goes to the microcontroller for power, data input, and ground. Since this connector came pre-wired, I just need to solder another male connector to the appropriate pins. The middle wires are where I'll be connecting the wall wart to supply power for the build. I used a mini DC barrel jack to match with the wall wart supply I had, which is a 5 volt 1.5 amp supply. Then the last wire is a spare which could be used if additional LEDs were to be connected. To finish up, I used hot glue to attach all the loose wires onto the wood. And with that, the project is complete. Keep in mind that this project can be expandable to even more than just a single LED matrix panel. I may revisit this project again in the future to improve the design and build an even bigger version with more LED matrix panels. Now here's some final footage using some of the animations that are currently available.
If you enjoyed this video, be sure you're subscribed and leave a like as it helps me to know to continue showing these types of DIY projects. Thanks for watching.